So today we're working on this 2000 Harley Davidson Fat Boy. We're about to change the spark plugs and I'm gonna show y'all how to do it the easy way. For this job, tools are very simple. 5 8 spark plug socket or just a 5 8 socket or wrench. Set of spark plugs, these are Autolite 4164s. Typically I run NGKs, but I had these on the shelf. And spark plug gapping tool or a set of feeler gauges. These are only like a couple bucks at Harbor Freight and pretty much every auto parts store. So now we're gonna get to taking the old plugs out. All right, so the first step is to remove the spark plug boots, um, the wires off of the actual plugs. Then take your 5.8 socket, and your ratchet or wrench, break them, break them loose and remove the old plugs. See, pretty black, pretty fouled out. Again, pretty black, pretty fouled out. Okay, so every time I change spark plugs, I always check the gap because you don't know if somebody shook the box around or if it fell off a shelf at the store. Now for the gap, pretty much every single twin cam Harley is gonna be the same. The gap is 0.038 to 0.043. I like to shoot somewhere right in the middle at 040. And uh, now we're gonna show you how to measure. So these are Autolite 4164s. They work on every single twin cam. So all you do is put this little coin in the gap of the spark plug and turn it until you get the right gap. Now, right now, this straight out of the box is 0 0.029. You probably won't be able to see that. So right there, we got 040, and all I do is kind of, you can use a flathead or just kind of pull up on the coin, but you want to make sure the electrode's still pretty flat and that you don't break off the tip of the actual electrode. So right there, that's a good gap. 040. Now let's do the other one. This one is coming in at right about 033. So same thing. A little, a little work. All right, right at 040. These are ready to go back in the bike. So another thing I always use is anti seize, um, always on spark plug threads. Don't get them on the actual electrode. And I use a little brush because the brush that is on the lid always makes a huge mess. You definitely don't want to be dealing with a corroded spark plug that's stuck in your head. It's a great way to pull the threads out. And then you're either on the way to the dealership or a machine shop that can repair the threads. All right, side note, the Autolite 4164s are a 11 16th socket. Um, that's the only main difference. Kind of a pain. Um, if you go with like an NGK, they're, uh, they're the same size as the factory ones of 5.8s. All right, so as you can see, I'm not going very tight. You just wanna make sure it's snug. They do have a locking washer on them that crushes down to make a seal. So you don't have to worry about anything like that. Make sure the nipples are tight. And then all we do is clip our spark plug wires back on. Make sure you hear that positive engagement and you're good to go. So typically I would start the bike up afterwards, but this is waiting on throttle cables and a carburetor rebuild kit. So figured in the time being, I would take my time, do some extra maintenance and film it while I'm doing it. So anyway, if this helped, if, it, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think below. And uh, yeah, ride safe, ride smart. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.